This video is sponsored by June's Journey, which is a hidden object crime-solving mystery game set in the 1920s. It's available for free on Android, iOS, or desktop. The game has several different main components. My favorite is the I Spy style challenges, where you are shown a gorgeous, intricate 1920s themed scene and you have to find certain objects hidden in there. I find it to be the perfect amount of difficulty. It's just challenging enough to feel super satisfying when you finally succeed. And those hidden object scenes are part of a larger storyline. In every single one, you are searching for new clues to solve a mystery. Each one that you complete moves you closer and closer to solving the case that you're working on. You're playing as June Parker, whose sister and husband were murdered under mysterious circumstances. And there are lots of exciting twists and turns along the way. It's overall super fun to look at. I love the art style. There's so much color and detail. It's super entertaining, but at the same time, relaxing to play. I found it perfect to use as a break uh, while I'm writing, because it's a fun reward that still keeps me in that creative, productive mindset. So, if you'd like to try playing June's Journey for yourself, please check it out for free at the link in the description. Welcome into the perfumery. Allow me to take your coat. We've got the fireplace crackling something fierce, so I certainly won't be needing that as so long as you're here. <laughs> oh, yes, terribly chilly day. The wind is just wicked. I had to step out for a moment earlier to collect the newspaper. at the thought. I'd rather be caught with my ex-husband than with my hair bedraggled, to be quite honest with you. So then, uh, did you come here today for some specific purchase or just wandering in? You know, many of my customers are headed elsewhere, but find themselves allured by the aromas drifting out into the streets, endlessly flattering, I find it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes, good, good, good. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, no worries, I guarantee you will be matched with your new favorite fragrance this evening. Mm. At the moment, dare I say, you are sporting Siren Spirit. Excellent choice, suits you gorgeously. I do always love a mysterious fragrance on a mysterious someone. But I suppose you feel you've outgrown it, yes. Hmm. Some fragrances stand the test of time, joining the ranks of classics like English Fern or Strange Melody, while others prove to be nothing more than passing trends and Siren Spirit tragically has fallen into the latter category as of late. So terribly, last season. But not to worry, we'll get you sorted. I see you're holding a clipping from the paper. Have you been so kind as to bring me some clues? Oh, you absolute angel, I could kiss you now. Give me a look then. Oh, I'd love to see it. Mm-hmm. Yes, good. Good. It appears you've encircled the forbidden fruit immensely popular that one for good reason. I think you could be a perfect fit for it. Sweet. Do you like sweet? Mm-hmm. Yes, quite promising. Okay. And, mm -hmm. you do seem to. Good work, you might find it a bit intense. 
it's um, musky, I mean, we'll soon find out. It's hard so to play with a shot. Does it be doing good? I've got plenty of that in stock. Okay, good quality point. Good disguise. Good looks like it's a circle to this white rust. The family crab and the sweet. Jasmine, really? No, I would not have supposed. certainly work with that. Yeah. It appears you've got a budget uh, about five to ten dollar range, is that correct? It's perfectly workable. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll return that clipping to you. I truly cannot thank you enough for bringing that in. It's an immense help to me. You can't imagine what a nightmare it is with demand that I find them the product of their absolute dreams yet they have not the faintest idea of a single one of their likes or dislikes oh, just wretched right then let's get started exploring the fragrances shall we ever so exciting so I was quite pleased to see that you circled my signature scent yes none other than Zippity bright citrus, crisp and clean, based in orange blossom with top notes of lemon and pink pepper. This is my daytime scent. I wear it most of the working week. Playful, cheeky, and pepper to the step. I swear I could have scarcely slept, but ready to take on the entire world. Could jump up and touch the moon, something like that. Let's give you a whiff of this. We will start off sampling the fragrances on these little desert sheets until we've narrowed it down to your favorite two, at which point they will and only then receive the esteemed honor of being placed onto your skin. You can see how they mingle with your natural scent and everything like that. But until then, paper as it is, I won't have you leaving my shop smelling like an abominable amalgamation of every scent we've got in stock. It would be terrible advertising for me, indeed. And for you. Do you think of the bottle? As crucial as it is, of course, for the fragrance to be perfectly to your liking, one cannot overlook the importance of your attraction to the bottle itself as well. Let's see then. Give 
given that Zippity was a touch too sharp for your liking. Perhaps you would prefer Bluebell Delight, fresh, sparkling, dew drops on petals, the woods after rain. So put me a lily of the valley, and honeysuckle. It is mythical enchanting and feminine. This seems to be a popular fragrance amongst artists. I especially love it on watercolor painters. It certainly feels like a Monet, doesn't it? And the bottle simply could not understand entirely. Yes, as much as I do love to enjoy gazing upon the flowers, I don't know that I care to be mistaken for one, you know. Quite an addictive one, this is. Yes. The sort of scent that it would make you chase someone down if you caught a whiff of it in a crowd. This one is called Forbidden Fruit. Inspired by the very fruit that tempted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. It floats through the air with a delectably fruity finish. Sweet peach and pomegranate. But with the depth of a more amber woodsy base. Absolutely irresistible. Everyone will want to take a bite right out of you. And the bottle itself is very iridescent. You can hardly tell that the perfume itself is the shade of pomegranate juice. something a touch more rich and mature. Miss Elysian. Miss Elysian. Positively striking bottle. Simplistic, elegant, decadent blush shade. The scent itself is 
heavy and cedar, professional, academic, intimidating even, it smells of old leather bound books, parchment. Best of all, a bit of vanilla bourbon, the most expensive extract in the entire world. This is the perfume my eldest sister prefers, actually. She works as a librarian, quite medically. Striking, stern woman, dark hair, light eyes. For something with more punch to it, more personality. I think I know just the thing. Strange melody is our most seductive fragrance of them all. Very popular with the fashion models. It's husky, smoldering, stylish, leather. Cigarettes in a back alley. It's alluring in a strong, masculine sort of way, like meeting eyes with a handsome stranger across the room. They pick you over. But the best part of it is the tart touch of raspberry. Offers a welcome splash of freshness. Tall that deep. Similar to 
too strange melody, but not without its own unique attributes. We've got Evening Amber. Evening Amber. I'm so excited to see what you think of it. I find it to be herbal and complex. Another one that flies off the shelves into the hands of stars. But I find this one to be less popular with the runway girls and more suited to the theatre. Mm, stage actresses, singers, that sort of thing. I assure you this is precisely what all the backstages smell like. Warm and spicy. Just captivating it. Truly the fragrance of a leading lady. Do you like it? It has the same uh, nighttime mood as a strange melody, but without such an intense huskiness, I find. So do a gentle and more forgetting on the senses. I just couldn't let you leave this place without giving a chance to English fern, an all-time indoor classic. It's uh, quite clean, like expensive soup, freshly washed fabrics, crisp linens, hung on the laundry line with care, a light. English fern seems to be beloved by dancers, particularly ballerinas. Straight, straight out of the bubble bath and into Such a fan of the soapy scents. Fair enough. I'm pleased. I'm pleased that you've given it a try. This next one reminds me of my mother. It's called the teacup. Teacup. Bit of honey, vanilla, hazelnut. It feels like biscuits and tea. Comforting, like curling up in a big fluffy quilt. Cacked in your lap. Rain, a bit of battering, a bit of battering, a bit of battering on the window pane. It's called a teacup. A teacup. It's a pale pink. It's lovely iron. I suppose that the last thing I'd like to show you. Do you think I could perhaps tempt you with a cologne? I'm confident you could pull it off. Not everyone can. This one is called Clever Work. This one is called Clever Work. Clever Work. 
refreshing and confidence boosting. I think it conveys authority and elegance. It smells of mint. Mint leaves and lime and zest. Like a strong coffee. I think my personal recommendation would definitely be teacup and evening amber. I think those two will suit you gorgeously. Perfect. If you could just give me your right wrist, please, and I'd like to apply. Fragrances. 
If you find yourself at all in doubt, please do feel free to come back at any time because I do offer free exchanges. Yes, of course. It is of utmost importance to me that you are as happy as completely possible when it comes to your fragrances. Thank you so much for selecting my perfumery and I do so hope to see you again very soon. Good night.